Welcome to one minute. What the hell? So here we are playing an unlicensed Sonic the Hedgehog game on Super Nintendo. I never played this before. And I have no idea what the hell I'm getting myself into, but the title screen right there actually looks pretty cool. Uh, probably not as cool as the Sega Genesis version, of course, but... Hey, what the hell. Let's try it out, see what the hell it is, and... There's an option menu right here that pretty much gives you the, uh... Rules, gives you the idea of how to play this game. And as you can see, just by the way the graphics look on the option menu, it kind of looks... Uh, distorted and not good at all. And now let's start the game and see what the hell this is. I previously reviewed a few Super Mario games on Genesis, which do exist. This is Sonic the Hedgehog on the uh, Super Nintendo, which is really weird. Super Nintendo's attempt at blast processing right here. Uh, the level design definitely is not Sonic the Hedgehog. This. Level design looks familiar. I'm not sure if it came from another game. I think it did. Hey, looks kind of familiar to me. So basically, whoever whoever did this, they basically took the main character out, out of the uh, this game and put Sonic the Hedgehog into it. It's just weird playing Sonic the Hedgehog on Super Nintendo, but uh, there's also an adapter available for Super Nintendo that allows you to play Genesis games. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but apparently some people say it works pretty well. The controls are a little clunky, so I don't think it runs as fast as Genesis version, but it still looks not bad, I guess. What the hell? It's about time. What the hell is that? You got Mario in this game too. It's now Mario and Sonic are. Uh, Basically, best friends on the Wii U. The voice acting in that game, or whatever the hell they added in, pretty bad. I just. Where the hell is the end of the level? Oh my god, I just killed myself. Not nearly as good as the uh, Sega Genesis version of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it is quite interesting though. You see here, the graphics are exactly like something you would see on Super Nintendo. The sound is not bad for the, for the exception of um, the crappy voice acting they add into the game, the recordings. And the level designs are pretty damn bad too. They're not nearly as good as the Genesis version. You're probably going to want to save up to buy a Genesis. This is not good. It's okay, but... But at least it's playable. But it's not exactly a good Sonic game. This was during the time where Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog were arch enemies. Nintendo and Sega did not like each other. So you were seeing unlicensed Sonic games on Super Nintendo and unlicensed Mario games on Genesis. Uh, this is an example of one of them right here.